There's nothing worse than losing an argument, especially on the internet. Did you know that's why the internet was invented? So every person could win every argument all the time. Yet somehow, 8% of people are still losing internet arguments. That's why we're here today, so I can show you how to win every argument on the internet. As an example, let's look at this internet argument I pretended to lose yesterday. There was this Reddit thread. President Obama says Kendrick Lamar's How Much a Dollar Cost was his favorite song in 2015. I made a comment saying that the only time I'd ever been to the White House, I saw Kendrick Lamar going in. My comment seems like a crazy lie by a 13 year old. Perfect internet bait. A user named White Dog Meat fell for my trap. He called my comment bullshit. This is really important. The main reason people are still losing internet arguments is because they aren't using enough proof. And internet proof can be all kinds of stuff, like a link to a news article you didn't finish reading, or holding up a piece of paper or something, or just using the perfect emoji at the perfect time. So did you take a picture of Kendrick or whatever you saw him? No, no I, I just walked by him. Well, I mean, like, you should, you should post that. It's just, that would be proof if you took a picture of Kendrick Lamar at the White House when you saw him. Well, I wanted to take a picture of him when I was walking by him, like, like a, maybe a selfie, but I was like, I don't know, it wouldn't be cool to stop him and be like, even though I thought it'd be a pretty good opportunity because he'd think I was cool because I was coming out of the White House, but maybe he'd think I wasn't cool when I asked him for a photo, so I didn't ask for one. But I mean, he was in DC that well, so week. So you don't have anything actually showing that you were there and saw him? Well, he was in DC that week and anyone that Obama likes and that is famous would go to the White House while they're there. Right, well that's, yeah, but that's just circumstantial. Like if you say you saw him, just post a picture of that you saw him or whatever and then it's done. Now my argument with white dog meat is a little more complicated, so I had to take some advanced steps. Step one, I'd been at the White House working on a video, so I called Michelle Obama and said, hey, Michelle Obama, could you finish editing the video and post it already? Great news, she'd already posted it earlier this morning. So here's my folder for internet arguments. You got Second Amendment, Batman or Superman, Pumpkin Spice Lattes, Roe v. Wade, Shark or Tiger, vaccines, White House, Kendrick Lamar. Okay, so I took a screenshot of Michelle Obama and Jay Farrow in the video we helped make. Then I took a screenshot of a photo of me holding cue cards from Michelle Obama in the same room. Then I took a screenshot of a news story about how Kendrick Lamar played with the National Symphony Orchestra the same week. Bam, triple proof. Well, how do you know that was the same week? Well, it just was. Step three, finish making this video showing how all my proof ties together. Now I'll just go to the Reddit thread and post a reply to White Dog Meat's comment. Is that? Oh, the post was locked. Go to the top. No, it's, it's locked for racism. Oh, uh, somebody must have been proven pretty hard. Yeah, they must have had some really intense it's proof. Weird. That's what you need to win all your internet arguments. Tons of proof, make sure you keep your proof organized for the next time you have the argument. And most importantly, always keep in mind you're not trying to win over the person you're arguing with, you're just trying to win over the people you already agree with. That way you'll get tons of likes, you'll get tons of shares and faves, you'll win the argument. Oh, that was cool, man. Yeah. Just, I guess my whole deal is like if you had taken a picture of Kendrick at the time,